Uh, 19 minutes past 7 o'clock. Speaking of shirts, there's been some big news from Wiggles HQ overnight. The original yellow Wiggle Greg Page is back after quitting the world-famous group five years ago due to illness. He's putting the skivvy on again. The Wiggles asked me if I'd like to come back um, and, you know, I think it was at a time when I had realised that I can manage my health and I can give it a go. But with Greg in, his replacement, Sam Moran, is out and not everyone's happy about it. Uh, showbiz commentator Peter Ford joins us now. Peter, a lot of people saying online Greg should have come back as a fifth wiggle rather than dump Sam. What do you reckon? Well, it would have been nice. It's not how the group works, though. Look, these things are never easy when someone is asked to move on. They're saying he's graciously decided to set, step aside. Well, Murray, we all know that's Sam, not quite the case. But uh, I think in the overall scheme of things, the Wiggles are four people. These are the four foundation members back together again. I think we need to celebrate that. I think in the bigger picture down the track, as far as Sam goes, you know, I think he'll look upon it as being a very interesting challenge chapter of his life as part of that group but he will now re-establish himself as a solo performer whilst he at his in, at an age where he's young enough to still do that in the same way that Julie Anthony did a stint as the guest singer with the, the Seekers and Karen Knowles was was the guest singer with the Seekers for a while but of course Judith Durham was the one we always wanted to see back and now this has happened with the Wiggles Greg's back with the boys yeah because the boys bought Greg out didn't they bought his shares out and paid over 20 million he then lost it in property developments but they hired Sam just on a salary now there's all sorts of rumors that there was growing resentment from Sam that you know he was part of the four but didn't have any of the upside well, you're right. He didn't have, like, the full military honours. He was almost yeah. like a, a ring-in. He, he was, in effect, an employee. He wasn't a part of the empire. He wasn't a partner in the empire. But he was certainly handsomely paid, uh, more so than he was as a solo performer or when he yeah. was working as a, a backup dancer in the shows and the occasional fill-in. So, look, if I was Sam's manager, I would say, look, you know, take it on the chin. Play yeah. along with it. Be gracious, as obviously he's doing at the moment. He's written nothing on Twitter. He's written nothing on, on his uh, uh, website. So I think the down the track, he's cashed up. He now has a name that's established. This will lead to other things, whilst at the moment it may hurt a bit. I think, uh, I think in the overall scheme of things, it's going to work out very well for him. And it's great for Greg. And I think the whole yeah. financial thing has somewhat been overplayed. He owns the world's fourth largest Elvis collection, so he's only going to put no. that on eBay if he needed the cash. Perfect. All right, Peter. They're all good blokes too, aren't they? Thank you. They for are that. terrific. Thanks, uh, We'll be talking to Greg Page and the Wiggles live after 8 o'clock.